Hello everyone and welcome back to Sophie Loves 10. I'm here today with slightly damp hair because I'm filming this just before I'm going out trying to get a sneaky video in. I've been super busy lately, that's why there hasn't been a second video last week, but I'm going to film some videos for this week so you should have quite a few, hopefully. Um, I'm going to do my November wrap up. As I said, I've been so busy lately. Um, the deadlines are coming up for work. I went to Liverpool last week for my brother's graduation. If you want to hear more about that, let me know. Um, but these are the books that I read. I have got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten things I've read all together. So I'll go through them now. Um, the first one is The Girl in Sixty by A.R. Tory. Well, yeah, I assume so. This is about, it's a thriller, but I don't really think it's a thriller. I wouldn't have put it under that um, title. It's about a girl and she is a... She works on her webcams on a sex site and that's her job and everything gets delivered to her because she can't leave the home, her house, her apartment, which is 60, um, because she will kill, she thinks that she will kill someone. Um, but it's about her and she meets a guy who's the delivery guy and it's all, it's quite a nice little love story in the back. I really enjoyed this, I thought it was really um, interesting. It kind of reminded me of You by Carolyn Katniss, although um, this character knows that she's got mental problems he doesn't necessarily um and I thought it was really interesting it's quite it's written in quite a nice way so we get it's almost like a diary kind of entry um we get entries from her and we get entries from him and we get entries from another family which is linked into the story but I think I gave this four stars and I really enjoyed it the next one I um decided to read was something that um I was wanting to read for a while, but I wasn't sure if I was going to enjoy it. And this is Witches of the East by Melissa de la Cruz. I'm not sure how I feel about this one. I think I gave it like two stars. It's about a family of witches and them. They were witches. They've been witches for like years and they keep moving to different places. Like in Twilight, the vampires, they keep having to move because they stay at the same sort of age. Um, it's like a chick flick book I hate to use that word again but it was a chick flick book with a little bit of um mythological aspect to it a lot of it was very too convenient when it wraps up at the end um and I don't think I'll be continuing if this is a series I think it might be but I'm not going to continue because it was all a little bit too convenient that's how I feel about that one um the next one I've got is Tahera Mafi which is furthermore, this is the first Hera Mafi book that I have read, and I have to say I really do enjoy her description. Um, you get, this is a middle grade book, but it's, you have got a lot of description and some things that I feel like children wouldn't necessarily get. Um, so for that point, it's actually quite a nice, it, I think this could be easily converted into a young adult book um, if Tahera wanted to. I really like the descriptions of Alice, and um, the world that Tahera's made, um, although it wasn't as much Alice Wonderland as I would have liked because I thought it was an Alice Wonderland retelling, although it just kind of takes snippets of Alice Wonderland, um, kind of, she referenced certain things, but it's not really an Alice Wonderland retelling. But all in all, it was a nice description. I read it on a train journey to Gloucestershire and um, I enjoyed it quite a bit. The next two, I'll put them together, were plays that I had to read for my course. And I read The Humans by Stephen, Stephen Karam, Karam. And um, I only had to read The Zoo Story, but I read both of them. And I actually liked The American Dream More by Edward Albee. I've never read anything by Edward Albee before. I haven't read um, Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf, which is his most famous play, but I actually really like him as a playwright. He's got a very very interesting way about characters his play is totally about the characters than anything else um, and he writes characters very very well so I can see why he's such a famous um, playwright and um, the zoo story is about a man um, basically about two men having a discussion and it gets so in depth um, the ending's completely unrealistic if I tell you now but in the context that we're put in it's realistic. It, he just does, he work, writes characters very, very well. The American Dream um, is about a very fake American family and their life. Um, and I really enjoyed that. Um, the Humans, this is 
Um, Stephen works a lot with characters and you can tell that he really, really goes to town because he has quite a few characters in this. But the setting, I think, is the thing that makes this such a unique play because he's got two levels. And throughout reading this, it got a little bit confusing at times because he had um, some things happening upstairs on the stage. I'd imagine the stage would be split into two bits upstairs and something's downstairs and it's a reaction to the two and they kind of work together so reading it can get really because you have to imagine what it's going to be like but I would actually really like to see this and how it's played out and I thought this one was excellent too. Some comics that I read for the cosy reading night done by Lauren, Lauren and the Books. Hi if you're watching this and the first one I read was Space Dumplings which I already spoke about this in my wrap up so I'm just going to quickly overview. This is by Craig Thompson. It is about a girl um, living in space as one the picture would suggest, and her um, her, her school gets destroyed by whale poo, whale diarrhea that's just you know floating whales in space, and she has to find a new school and an adventure that she goes on with two little friends. That was really cute. So I think I gave that like four stars. Um, then I picked up Rat Queens Volume Three. I'm not sure how I feel about Rat Queens. I'm not sure if I'm going to continue with Rat Queens because I'm kind of umming and ahhing about the story now. I do like the characters a lot and I think I would actually prefer it as a book rather than a comic, although I'm not sure if it would work as a book. But I'd like to know more about the co more about the characters, like really in-depth like character profiles now. Um, but we did get more into that character's life, well, I don't know their names, but that character's life, we got a little bit more insight to her life. And they are really interesting characters and there are really really well thought out but I'm not sure if I'm enjoying the actual story itself and that is part of obviously a comic. Um, then the other one which I really didn't particularly enjoy which is Wild Awake, Wide Awake Fairest Fables and this is volume one. I thought I'd try it out because it's a fairy tale retelling. Um, if you want to know more of my thoughts on that that is also on the Cozy Reading Night um, wrap up but I think I'm going to pick up the Alice in Wonderland one if there is and I've just reminded myself to have a look online and see if there is an Alice in Wonderland retelling because that's going to have to be bought. And then I got, I read um, Vox by Nicholson Baker which I spoke about in my cosy reading wrap up but I didn't actually finish it and I finished it a couple of days after. Um, nothing particularly happens in this book, it is a conversation between two characters on the phone and it's meant to be an erotic novel. Things are described We've got description, but because it's not actually happening, it's more realistic. So we've got um, pe two people talking about their sexual experiences. And um, at the end, they just sort of wrap up talking about it. Um, it's all sort of a, a way of them, this conversation is a way of them feeling more comfortable to masturbate on the phone to each other, basically. Um, and I thought it was really well written. I've never read anything like this before at all. Um, and if you want to dive into erotic novels but feel that you want something not too out there and very very descriptive then this is a really good first one to go to go on because it's not too in your face and it's the fact that it's an erotic novel I feel isn't the basis of this book if that makes sense it's got a lot more to it than that so yeah I enjoyed that I think I gave it four stars and then the last one which is also for my course. This is for my Queer Now module, which I think is my favourite book of this month. And I'm going to have to read more by Sarah Walters. If you like any Sarah Walters books, please suggest one down below because this I've read this as my first one. I've never picked her books up because I always thought they were pretty chunky and um, I don't know, I just I have too much in my bookcase. But I had to read this. This is The Night Watch. And it was just great, like really great. We had a lesson talking about it and it just felt like... I was just chatting to my friends about a book that I've just read and absolutely loved because I thought it was an absolutely great put together story. We go backwards through time um, around the war and we have different couples. My favourite couple, well, my favourite person in the book was Kay. Um, if you've read it, give a thumbs up if you love Kay because, man, she's a great character. Um, she's got so much depth to her as well. I can really like, I could see a book being written just about her, to be honest, because she's a very interesting character. Um, and we've got all different, there's like a family dynamic in here, relationships, all sorts. Absolutely love it. Five stars. I think, I think I've given it five stars. I'm not sure if I've rated it on Goodreads yet, but I'm going to do that now. And that is all the books that I read this month. Um, I think I did pretty okay. I mean, I've still got my audio book to finish. There they are. 
Um, my audiobook is The Versions of Us, and I have like six hours left, and I've just, Amazon's just messaged me, let me know that I have my next credit for next month, which is pretty bad, because I still need to do that one. Um, but anyway, <laughs> I'm going to get to that. I'm probably going to pick The Chemist by Stephanie Meyer to listen to for, um, my hair's really bugging me because it's wet, um, to listen to for December, because I have the book, but it's a very chunky hardback, so I'm probably going to listen to it whilst commuting, and that's probably a better idea. So, I will speak to you soon with another video soon. I'm going to um, film another one soon, maybe get it done today, maybe not tomorrow, but I will speak to you soon. Bye everyone, have a lovely day.